The Toyota Prius has been the hybrid poster child for almost two decades. When it comes to fuel economy, it's really hard to beat the Prius, but its front-wheel drive only layout posed challenges for shoppers in weather-prone areas. That's all changed with this, the 2019 Toyota Prius. Do me a favor and hit subscribe below. We have a lot more reviews coming your way. Compared to the 2018 Prius, the 2019 models, including the all-wheel drive, perform and behave much like its predecessor. They're not particularly sporty, but they get the job done, and that job is fuel economy. When it goes on sale in January of 2019, prices are gonna start right around $27,000 for the all-wheel drive, which is only about $1,400 more than the front-wheel drive. Another big difference between the all-wheel drive and front-wheel drive Prius is gonna be the battery packs. They've switched from the lithium ion for the front-wheel drive to a nickel metal hydride battery pack for the all-wheel drive. That's because Toyota says the nickel metal hydride battery pack does a lot better with cold climates. When it comes to styling differences, they've actually gone simple. They took out some of the more complex and awkward shapes that were in the front right under the headlights, and they even shaved off the headlights to give it more of a conventional wraparound look. The same holds true for the taillights. They're a lot more simpler and horizontal. Overall, you still get all of the character that you've come to expect from a Prius, for better or for worse. Like the exterior, the interior of the 2019 Prius sees some minor changes here and there. The most obvious is the white glossy trim that kind of adorned everything inside, that's gone. They've replaced it with black, and personally, I think it looks a lot better. They've also moved the seat heater switches from buried deep down under here to right here in front of the cup holders. Another addition, they've added two USB ports right behind for the rear seats. Otherwise, a lot of it remains unchanged, and that's a good thing. The addition of the all-wheel drive motor and the battery pack doesn't affect cargo space or rear passenger space at all. All right, so when it comes to driving the new Prius all-wheel drive, there's not a big difference between this and the regular front-wheel drive. To be honest, I don't feel a difference at all. They say that uh, the power output and efficiency is pretty much dead on. This gets two miles per gallon less, so 50 miles per gallon combined versus 52 for the regular Prius and 56 miles per gallon for the L Eco. The added electric motors on the rear axle, those come into play under initial acceleration from zero to six miles an hour. Uh, and that's really just to help out on slippery surfaces. The motor will kick in from time to time uh, up to 43 miles an hour when needed when slippage is detected. Unfortunately, they didn't get around to adding Apple CarPlay for the 2019 model. They are saying it will come eventually. If you ask me, it'll probably be in the next model year. Uh, and that's too bad because the Toyota Intune system, in my opinion, is one of the worst infotainment systems to use. It's just overcomplicated and it, it's lacking a lot of features that are made up by the features on your smartphone. So to give an indication of how different or how much better the all-wheel drive might be, they've set up this wonderful little snowy course for us. This is the front-wheel drive version and we'll see how much of a handful it really is. Let's go plowing it and see what happens. Oh yeah, so it's not a lot of steering response. It's really just, oh, it's it's kind of struggling to get through and there's a lot of work you can hear with the anti-locks kicking in there, but it made it through just fine. Um, I didn't need a whole lot of steering correction, so we'll see how the uh, all-wheel drive performs in comparison. All right, so there's uh, one important difference, which is initial traction. Um, the rear motors, they, coming to play from zero to six miles an hour just to get you going. Uh, so we're gonna go up this gentle little incline here to get a real good indication of if it really works or not. Here we go. Okay, so a little bit of crabbing here and there, but it left the line just fine. And that was pretty deep snow actually. And the front wheel drive Prius actually won't even make it up that hill. So we are lined up onto the chicane course here we go. Going in at about the same speed and same aggression. Oh, it's tracking way better. Wow. Yeah, it's not bogging down at all. It's just kind of kicking in. We hit maybe 25 miles an hour there. And that was a marked improvement. Good on you, Toyota. The 2019 Prius maintains its advantage for fuel economy and keeps all of its character that we've come to expect. The addition of the all-wheel drive model, well, that's a significant step forward. 
it really opens up the Prius to shoppers who normally wouldn't consider it because they lived in snowy areas. After driving it on this course, I can say it makes a difference. It makes a big difference, especially when you're just starting out from a dead stop. For more information on the Prius, as well as its competition, head on over to Edmunds.com. To see more videos like this, hit subscribe.